Hey there friend, in this video we're talking about the different kinds of blood transfusion reactions that you've got to know about for nursing school. And if you like this video, write love in the comments below and of course make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on any other nursing school tips and resources that I've got for you. Now let's do it. Transfusion reactions are obviously pretty scary and they could range from mild to severe and life-threatening. A blood transfusion reaction happens when the patient's body doesn't like the blood we're giving it or there's an issue with that blood. So let's walk through some of the different types of blood transfusion reactions. The first one we're going to talk about is an allergic blood transfusion reaction. This one happens when the patient's immune system reacts to little proteins in the donor blood that triggers the patient's immune system. It could range from mild itching to severe anaphylaxis. Now the second one is a febrile blood transfusion reaction. Now this one happens when the patient's antibodies attack some of the donor's white blood cells. This leads to a fever, hence the name febrile transfusion reaction. The next one we'll talk about is a hemolytic blood transfusion reaction. And this one happens when the patient receives blood that isn't the right blood type for that patient, meaning it's incompatible. When this happens, the patient immune system makes antibodies that, that then attack the donor blood cells. Now this causes destruction of the donor's red blood cells, that hemolytic blood transfusion reaction. This is why it's super important to accurately ID your patient and do all of your checks before you do a blood transfusion. You need to make sure that you're giving the right patient the right blood. Now the next type of blood transfusion reaction we'll talk about is a bacterial transfusion reaction where the donor blood is contaminated with bacteria bacteria and then it's given to the patient, causing the patient to become septic. Now this can be fatal, obviously, and we have a whole video to walk you through the pathophysiology of sepsis step by step if you're unsure about that pathophysiology, so be sure to check out that video. Now let's talk about transfusion-associated circulatory overload, or TACO for short. This is just as it sounds like, circulatory overload. The infusion is too much and or too fast for the patient's body to handle and the heart can't keep up and then fluid backs up into the lungs. This is kind of similar to another blood transfusion reaction called a transfusion related acute lung injury or a trally for short. However, researchers aren't totally sure what causes a trally. This happens when the patient develops rapid fluid buildup in the lungs and severe difficulty breathing, but it is not due to the amount of blood being given or anything wrong with the blood itself. And finally, let's talk about transfusion-associated graft-versus-host disease, or TA-GVHD. This type of blood transfusion reaction is very, very rare, but almost always fatal. This happens when the donor's white blood cells attack the recipient cells, and the recipient cells are not able to kill them. It mostly happens in patients who are very immunocompromised, which is why their immune system isn't able to fight off those donor blood's immune cells. The donor cells mostly attack the liver, GI tract, skin cells, and bone cells. So those are the main types of blood transfusion reactions that you've got to know about for nursing school. Now write love in the comments below if this video helped you out to understand all of this. Hit that like button and of course make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and click the little bell so you never miss a video. And now click on the next video in this series so you can keep rocking critical care in nursing school. Now go become the nurse that God created only you to be and I will see you in the next video.